Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the 55 gallon bin that's uh, laying down on its side. Alright guys, shameless plug for the tourism industry. I am wearing a Jolly Roger uh, crew shirt from Roatan. It's a boat that takes you out and goes snorkeling. If you ever get a chance to go to Roatan, they're fabulous. Take really good care of you, not super expensive. Absolutely two thumbs up for those guys. I'm not paid for it. I'm just saying right now the tourism people are hurting. And when everybody gets out of the house and gets a chance to go someplace, this is one of the great places to go. Totally I'm going to do it again. All right, back to the worms. Gonna take off all my bubble wrap here. They do kind of tend to hang out on it a little bit. All right, let's take a look and see what they've been doing. There's been a lot of discussion going on in some of the uh, worm boards on Facebook talking about extracurricular um, critters in your bin. And I just saw some pill bugs go by and they've already, oh there it is. Oop, come on buddy. Okay, so there it is. Not harmful at all. I've never seen these things in any sort of number that I would find creepy. Um, they're not a problem if you have them. They're totally fine for your worms and they're also totally fine for your plants once the worms give up the castings for you to use with the plants. I don't really see anything else running around right now. I don't see any little hopping of the other bugs and I don't see any mites right now. So let's go back, talk about the worms. So, it's been a little while since, it's probably been a week or two weeks since I've looked in the bin. So I'm going to do a pretty good look through here and see what I've got. Sometimes when vegetables get really thin, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between them and, and paper or plastic. So I usually err on the side of leaving it in. This I know is plastic. It must have been part of an envelope that got shredded. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this part over here and see if I am making any kind of progress getting the worms out. And I can see right away I am not. They are still absolutely going to stay in here for a while. So I am going to leave them. I'm gonna continue just leaving them do their thing. I'm gonna look in here at the the next part of it. And they are at happy in here. You can see the little cocoon in there. This is a mix of the red wigglers, the blue worms, and um, European night crawlers. Here's another thing I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is good or bad. Um, I don't know where these little snails come from. No idea. I wouldn't like it if they were with my plants. I don't know if there's anything in here or not. This might be dead. But anybody knows anything about snails in a worm bin? Snug, snugs? No, not snugs. Slugs are bad for plants and snails I don't really have a lot of experience with. Apparently haven't been paying enough attention because they're here. All right, so I'm going to continue digging here, picking out any plastic or whatever, anything real huge. I'll move to the end. Looks like the moisture staying really nice. The bubble wrap is totally doing its job. Looking around, seeing if there's any large objects. I know we do this as I kind of go on. Um, but it seems like no matter how many times I go through it, I always find something 
that I feel like I should take and put to the other end. But just right now, making sure that everything has enough air. Don't want to impede the progress here at all. I'm kind of surprised. This is lemongrass. And it was, I made tea out of it but it's not breaking down that fast so there must be something about if you cook plants they last a long time like raw corn you know gets eaten up pretty fast but if you cook it it takes a lot longer for it to process just rambling on here playing with the worms try and pile this part that's almost done up higher, making more room for my new stuff. And you can see there's still quite a few worms here in this nearly done part. I didn't fluff this up the last time I was in here. It does actually smell a little, I don't know, off. For lack of a better word it's not kind of musty or something so I think there is benefit in continuing to fluff this up I know some people think that I should just leave it uh, and just leave it until it's done doing its thing but I think uh, they're actually at least for my system for me I think there is a benefit in doing the fluffing because like right now, I haven't fluffed it for probably a month, and it does kind of smell a little uh, musty here on, on the underneath side, as well as being a little bit wet. Okay. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Mounting that up, and start making sure the underneath side is fluffed up on this. And then I'm also going to mound that up higher, make some room for the new stuff. Lots of worms all the way through. Looks like the bedding is still somewhat intact. Now, oddly enough, this part here that got fluffed last time doesn't smell weird at all. Yeah, this, this has quite a bit of ways to go. You, all the bedding with the colored paper has definitely got a long ways to go. thinking about starting another one of these and having it just be leaves and that sort of thing and see how that runs instead of using the paper bedding. Let me know in the, the comments below if you would like to see that as an alternate bin going forward. Just kind of winging it. Although I, I do have an interest in, in seeing what eventually once everything calms down in the world getting a um, one of those vermi bags it's not a tote it's a mini mammoth or something I like the idea of that one better at least for 
my f abilities and whatnot. Like this is perfect, having it be waist high and not having to crawl around on my hands and knees to harvest it. That's definitely more ideal for me. Okay, it looks like I'm getting into the newer food portion here, so I'm going to consider this part separate. I'm going to call this good. I'm in the basement. You can hear the pitter-patter of little hooks over my head. Okay, so this is the relatively new stuff with the newer bedding and food. I'm going to take a look and see if I've got any worm balls or anything interesting to show you today. Nope, kind of. You can see the they're all inside the coffee, all the different little filters that I usually just leave. I don't put them through a shredder or anything. Not moldy oranges. Okay. Just continue flipping through everything here, getting it some good air. Even though those oranges were moldy, they did not smell bad. Ooh, there we go. Another banana coffee kind of a worm ball. screens came loose. Hopefully that doesn't cause a problem. I might have to investigate learning how to do some plastic welding and weld that up. This had been used for a rain burial previously and So they are still enjoying these quite a bit. All right, let's <coughs> bury those underneath. Mound everything up. So this is the newest of everything. Some people also, they worry about the worms running amok, and what made me think of that is this little blue worm here that's running amok. Once the system itself, now I can't speak for everybody, only for myself, but once my systems were established and all the microbiology that supports the worm bin is stable after, I don't know, three or four months, after that point, I really do not have a problem with my um, red worms, European nightcrawlers, and blue worms um, wandering. Once, once everything has been set up and I make sure that I kind of leapfrog the, you know, uh, castings from an old bin into a brand new bin, uh, I don't really see a problem with them escaping after that. I almost think that the the escaping is due to not so much the presence of food, but maybe the av availability of food. And that once it gets to be kind of at a, a homeostasis kind of situation, then then they can tolerate a lot of different changes once they get to that point. Um, So I saw, like I said, there was a lot of questions about bugs recently, and oh great, that's just 
Um, basically, crawling around like everybody who's a new person to worms. Worms running amok, and then weird bugs in your worm farm. I just really love crawling through screens. Look at that. He's crawling in and then crawling right back out. All right. Okay, so we'll have to patch that with something else. All right, so for today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some leaf bedding and put it down here, and then I'm going to put their feeding on top of it. Okay, here is my leaf bedding. going to flip that over into here. Then I'm going to get them some food. Which again is coffee and, and grapes and onions and bananas. And then I'm going to go grab them another lime, another handful of the leaf bedding. I haven't talked a lot about my leaf bedding previously. This is something that kind of just happens in the background. So I do this pretty much the same way that I do the paper bedding. I have a 55 gallon drum in the basement of shredded leaves that I wet down with uh, worm tea, worm castings tea. And so you can see that there's some progress happening here and there's even a worm. So it looks like the worms were either already existing in my leaves or the worm tea had some really super small uh, cocoons. Since this is a non-species specific bin, I don't really, I don't care who's who, so it doesn't matter to me, but that's that's how that happens. That basically just sits in the 55 gallon barrel and as it gets low I add more leaves and stir it up with a pitchfork and leave it go and that's what I use for whenever I decide to use leaves instead of paper right now I'm running a little low on paper it's not uh, done getting all of its uh, pre-composting done yet alright so that is it for the 55 gallon drum bin, worm bin, and uh, let me know your comments below. Let me know what you think of this. It's sort of a wedge system, not really, because I am messing with it. Theoretically, a wedge system would you'd leave it alone and just start at one end and go to the other, but um, I don't have the willpower to leave it alone, so I'm just doing it my way. But let me know what you think and what you think about me doing one of Just Leaves. If you've had any experience with doing that. But I uh, wanted to thank everybody for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.